Uh, in the dairy industry, males are waste basically. At yeah, the youngest I would age. Say it's animal abuse. Okay. I would say that. Are you against animal abuse? Would you say you're against it morally? Well, I would say that. Well, I guess that's a complicated question because I, I guess I see. I haven't done a ton of research into this, but I would say that, that usually the dominant animal. The what? The dominant animal. Dominant. The smartest animal. Okay. The one that hunts the best. Uh huh. Is the one generally that um, can achieve that food source. Yeah, right? food source. Okay. Food source, right? Uh -huh. so Are you talking about like lions and bears? I'm talking about the cornucopia of life. Right? They're, they're oh, okay, so you're involving humans insect. then? Yeah, we're no. part of a greater system. Uh -huh. And at the micro level, I would say that like this is terrible. This is terrible to look at. It makes me sick. Uh -huh. like, yeah, it, it's. I think that what we do is inhumane. Okay. And even that's a strange word, right? Because it assumes human in the word, mm -hmm. inhumane. Mm -hmm. But as part of a larger system of life, mm -hmm. Like there, there may be another life form. This might be too abstract, but there might be another life form at some point that comes down and assimilates all of us and puts us in one of these factories. Okay. Does that make it right or wrong? What well, makes them more powerful than us? Mm -hmm. Does it make it morally right? They may have a different set of morals than we do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess it gets complicated because when I start to think about it, I think it's almost like the same global warming debate. Like maybe humans can't even help themselves. Like it's in our nature to destroy. It's in mm -hmm. our nature to be a predator. Okay. Does that make it right? Does that make me believe in it? No. As an individual, mm -hmm. I don't like it. Well, we... as a species, okay. is there any way as a species to change our behavior? And I appreciate you guys are out here fighting for it, but I do wonder, can we, especially in, like you look at hunter-gatherer societies, like they would, they would go out and kill their own food. Okay. And, and that seems to be more respected. And if I go out and kill the food myself, mm -hmm then it's a battle between me and that elk or between me and that bear. Okay. I don't know. Like, well, what, what do you think about situations like that? Well, the only, to me, I came to a point that this is a very simple issue. We look at this and we don't agree. Mm. So it's a question of morality. So it's against our right. basic kind of in, in morality. Micro, kind of in a micro no, not a micro, the... just, just animal abuse in general. This could be dog. Right. This could be anybody. So okay. this I agree with you completely, but what about if the, I kill an animal to eat it myself? No, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, think I'm trying to get to that one. Fundamentally, we need to understand that animals are sentient beings, right? Sentient. I'm not sure if that's Sen true. It is true. They have a ne central nervous system. Right, they, I'm not sure what does sentient oh, mean. Oh, sentient means uh, self-aware. I'm not sure if they're self-aware in the same way that we are. The, the quickest evidence is they try to escape when they're trying to, you know, right. when they know they're being hurt. Right. They try to, that's sentience, that's self-awareness. Well, insects also try to flee if you try to catch Exactly, them. exactly. But are right now, but, but, but insects are sentient. Any, any, uh, any, any, no, 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 no. I mean, I, I'm not expecting you to yeah. agree with me or not. Yeah, I need to I'm just trying the to, definition of sentience. Go I, ahead, go I ahead. just, uh, okay, so sentient or self-aware. Yes. Okay. So right now here, look, that's a very good example that they're sentient because they know what's happening. I mean, they feel oh, it, the pain, they try to escape. I it is terrible. Completely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then why are we doing this to them if we have an option to live a life without looking at them as yeah. resource? It's, it's because we live in a profit-driven economy. And is that and justification I, I enough? World? Good? No, I'm not saying it's justification. Okay. Then, I, I I'm know. saying this is the truth of the system. I'm not saying we shouldn't fight against But we're not here. But we also But we're not here to talk about the system. Rigged. We're not here to talk about the system. We're not talking about But this is the about us. the system. No, no, no. We're talking about individuals. Individuals, your so individuals your, make up a system. No, no. Your individual No, right now, your individual contribution to this. Because for as long as you're not if you have uh, heard the word vegan, yeah. well, as long as you're not vegan, their death, their blood, I mean, they're being yeah, killed I in am. your behalf. Yeah, I am. You are what? vegan you are okay yeah. <laughs> what, I, 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 so what much, I, <laughs> I have so much i have so much pea protein i've got like uh i go out to crazy lane yeah, why the hell did you get me yeah. <laughs> you're just I testing think, me huh? because i think it's important because i think that uh i think that yeah like i went back and forth for a while mm -hmm. and i think that oh uh, you're uh, okay correct me if i'm wrong yeah. your view of veganism is a diet correct or no more so yeah yeah, okay. More so. more so, but but I don't disagree the, with this. The, the the definition really of veganism. If you really look at it, man. Yeah. But I think because that, they're sentient being, it's about animal rights. Yeah, I think when you see this, you can't help but be emotionally held, right? 
Of at course. At the same time, I think that there are arguments that I've heard from the other side that uh, that are not there. There's still arguments that have some validity to them. Mm -hmm. Looking at the system part, right? And and I think you have we have you have to find ways to you know I wouldn't call myself an advocate, right? Like there's other things I'm worried about right <laughs> right now mm -hmm. in my life and other people, but it's this is terrible you know it's terrible and watching stuff like this yeah it, this was contributed to me to change my diet at the same time i think like can heard, you well I've let me ask other, you this I've then other good moving forward yeah. uh can you look not just since you were already you're already vegan so you've proven now the benefit right yeah, yeah now can so. you look from the victim's perspective well, because that's the ethical part there. That's yeah, the biggest yeah. thing. I, I honestly don't. Because because if you put yourself in their position as a yeah, victim, yeah. That, not necessarily this. Yeah. But if you put yourself as a victim, how would you right. want the harm to stop? Right. Because it's good for their diet, yeah. or is it because it's good for the environment, well, or because is, you are a sentient being, you are self-aware, and you know what it means to die, and you don't want to die. Yeah. And you value your life. You have the own. You right. you alone have the right for that life, right? It's, it's Including debate. animals. It's a it's a debate of individual choice so i could i could see that believe that and then make so you believe choice. that it's a choice it's still a choice if there's a victim i if there's a victim because um, they, they yes. are victims you, are, in, in do you agree they are victims sense, yeah yes, yes. yeah there you in, go in, okay and it's, i don't feel that's a trap i know you're, you're creating a trap no i'm not creating a trap <laughs> but, no, no. <laughs> i'm sorry if i am yeah. then let me know well, you're but like, i'm not i'm not i'm just raising all these questions that are very powerfully emotionally charged like victim it's a very powerful yeah yeah word. Well, because you already, you, you already, you already know the benefits. So I don't want to talk about the benefit. Well, yeah, yeah. You, you, you probably know more, know more about me. How many years are you vegan? It's only been like five months. Yeah. I'll find It's been early. Oh, I have okay. felt the benefits. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's not a question of me. Um, you know, I'm with you. I'm with you on this. Okay. At the same yeah. time, um, when my family, my dad, uh -huh. he's a huge meat eater, of course. So he's got a lot of physical problems associated with eating meat. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a mar argument that I, I can make to him, that I have made to him, like, hey, your gout would go away mm -hmm. if you stopped eating so much meat. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you know, he's a hunter. He likes to go hunt. Mm -hmm. He it partakes in, you know, in Virginia, where my family's from, they have to reduce the deer population. <laughs> Because it gets out of control. <laughs> so there's Isn't that funny how we made all excuses just okay. to kill animals? Well, I'm just saying there's yeah. a lot of competing of course. I'm gonna say systems, right? A lot of competing system and policy. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of government policy. What I and when I what I why I wanted to talk to you guys was anonymous, right? Uh -huh. And my understanding with anonymous was that you were always against authoritarian systems. And what I would not my main argument is, and what I would fear is if any movement becomes authoritarian. I would have some issues with it. Mm -hmm. so whether, well, this is anonymous for the boys. Authoritarianism sometimes always starts with the best things. Mm -hmm. Like we want a voice for the voiceless. Mm -hmm. Having people feel guilty, I think is dangerous. And they're going to be, a, uh, you approach it with people. Because mm -hmm. I think as soon as you make them feel guilty, you make them feel ashamed mm -hmm. for what they are, and what the choices mm -hmm. they've made. And maybe not even, you know, they haven't had all the information. So maybe they're not living their best life, but mm -hmm. they associating turning away from it just because of guilt isn't strong enough so you want me you want our approach to care more about the people demanding this atrocity i, I think that it, there has to be a balance that's i've been a part of a cult before mm -hmm. i was a part of a christian church cult. See, okay in, so i in, have the perspective of being in a group that had a very uh -huh. fundamentalist way of thinking and whenever i see anyone pushing anything i have to see is it being pushed on people with guilt with shame mm -hmm. That's one method of creating change, right? You're saying, look at this, don't you feel bad about it? Like, yeah, I do, I'm gonna stop. Mm -hmm. That's how they got me to join the cult. They're okay. like, look at the Bible, okay. are you doing this? I was like, well, I guess I'm mm -hmm. not. Okay, you're in sin, you need to join our church. The, the only and reason- I did, And I got brainwashed. The only reason that we're, we're approaching it this way, okay? And we're not forcing anybody, is to leave them with something to think about that for That's as right. long as they're not vegan, you know this is happening yeah. that's about it yeah that's good uh if you if someone leaves us after the conversation and decided not to go vegan that's totally up to that person mm -hmm. but at least now they know that this is happening in their behalf yeah well i think that's good it's as simple as that putting man. it that way putting it that way is a good tone uh -huh. i like that tone uh -huh. if you guys could get a giant screen giant
screams. Giant screams. Just projecting. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs>